Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on November 28th, 2023. Welcome to another Survivic Day on the Planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun as we've had a couple spectacular events headed our way. Look at those large plasma filaments north and south of our sun. Both poles erecting filaments and as well, we have an M-class solar flare to talk about, and it was in an Earth-facing position. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have coronal hole, which is the darkened side left. And on the right-hand side, we had that plasma filament eruption. Yet again, we've seen many plasma filaments dancing across the surface and then ripping away as we've seen multiple coronal mass ejections shot out towards our planet and as well Mars and Venus. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, the last 48 hours of events, the most recent flash, Earth-facing M-class solar flare, and that was right at the bottom center disk. We also have a big-time coronal hole getting ready for an Earth-facing position. 171 angstroms right now as we have 10 sunspot regions Some of the regions have multiple sunspots in them as well. Amazing images here of nearly a dozen sol uh, sunspots, M-class solar flare, coronal mass ejections. And then here are the sunspots I'm talking about. Put them in a little sped up time lapse. Show you them in motion. Current space weather conditions, we are under R2 moderate radio blackout impacts expected from this M-class solar flare. Solar winds are coming in at 444 kilometers per second right now. Looking at our solar X-ray flux, the flare class, strong M-class solar flare, and as well recently a pretty strong C-class solar flare. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity is low as well, sitting at a KP2, but that will be hopping up over the next few hours and days as looking at the highest frequency affected this is the absorption map showing that m-class solar flare cosmic radiation penetration and of course absorption from our magnetosphere looking at the current aurora forecast for tonight most of the intense activity came throughout the day today during the flare so 10 to 50% chance of northern lights across Canada tonight. Looking at ISWA space prediction spiral, this was the first CME and it was a double shot. And that was an earth directed fashion as well. But then look at this big guy. Wow. Huge coronal mass ejection. Shot out right at our planet Earth. Big mass ejection from an M class solar flare. Strong M class. Probably the strongest M-Class I've seen in about a month. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center spiral. Showing the same thing. Multiple CMEs heading our way. Having a look at Alaska 2. The last 48 hours of events. One CME. Two CME. Three CME. And then we'll watch for the full halo CME right there at the last image. We'll slow that down when we get to it. But when you see activity all around that center disk, that means it's Earth-directed fashion. And boom, that is a big M-class coronal mass ejection. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. As after last night's update, pretty much 20 minutes afterwards, we had a strong... 6.5 earthquake, magnitude earthquake strike, Papua New Guinea. We whack Papua New Guinea at an 8 kilometer depth. And that was after a slight warning of a large earthquake last night in the video. Also a 5.8 in Vanuatu region popping off and the deep earthquakes are back in Fiji. Levuka, Fiji, 579 and as well 547 kilometer depth. So this looks a little bit more average now. It was a little bit worrisome without those deep earthquakes, not seeing any release. 
Activity rumbling across Dabilo, Indonesia, largest being a 5.2 as well. Notable activity, 5.1 here, Kuril Islands, north of Japan. And notable, Fox Islands, Aleutian Islands, Alaska, 5.6 earthquake. A couple minor aftershocks through the region. And then looking across California, Gulf of California, 4.2, San Carlos, Mexico, right along the Riviera Plate and Big Bear City, 3.5. But nothing major to talk about, no major swarms. And then some peculiar activity across the Caribbean Plate, 4.9 there, Ecuador, and as well, 3.8, Jamaica. Triple Junction, and that's, that's weird because just yesterday I was reporting that Triple Junction earthquake here in Southern Indian Ocean. Peculiar is right we've got some strange events happening around our world 4.9 there we reported uh south sandwich islands as well a 4.8 earthquake here oman 10 kilometer depth 4.7 western Xinjiang, and pakistan border 4.3 magnitude earthquake so the past 24 hours usgs is reporting just over 200 across the world Looking at other sites, there's nothing major to report. No major swarms. Just some peculiar activity in Central America and across the United States. Just heads up, everybody. We haven't seen something big along the Cascade West Coast up into Alaska. Heads up. We've seen three strong earthquakes this week. 6.8, 6.5s, 6.7. And now we're getting these deep earthquakes back in Fiji. So after these deep earthquakes in Fiji, we can expect a larger, shallower earthquake to follow. So heads up, everybody. Heads up across the North American plate. Heads up around the world. If you live in an earthquake-prone zone, just be ready. That's what this is all about. Hashtag no fear here with daily events worldwide. And now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and most recent volcanoes getting updated. Looking at Semeru in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Sabancaya in Peru, Popo in Mexico. Lots of flood alerts popping off here. 180 just about hazards. Looking at Sangay in Ecuador. Santa Maria, Guatemala, Fuego, Guatemala, and of course, Luatolo in Indonesia. That's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today. Having a look here, satellite imagery around the world. Strong system bearing down on the west coast, northern California and Washington. Be on watch. Lots of snow is falling across Ontario and eastward. As northern lows move in and polar vortex fuels down the cold temperatures. Overlooking West Pacific, Southeast Asia and Australia. Multiple low pressure systems affecting the Australian continent this week. Stormy conditions. Heavy downpours along New South Wales and along the eastern seaboard of Australia. And as well, a notable system developing, heading for India in the long range. Overlooking Europe and Africa. Daily evaporation rains through Africa. Strong low pressure system moves out of the Black Sea. And then another one bears down on it. Having a look here at air quality forecast. We still have that large plume, West Pacific. But we also have a couple notable huge plumes coming off of Kamchatka. Eastern Russia and Japan. And notable SO2 coming out of New Caledonia, Papua New Guinea area. Overlooking Southeast Asia and Africa. Mount Etna still erupting this week. Popo putting on quite a puff puff. All week long as well. Quick look here at the Southern Hemisphere. South America. Nothing major to report. Now let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com. Starting at North America. 
as we have multiple lows affecting this week and as well another one moving into the Atlantic provinces Tuesday into Wednesday. Then a big low develops here for southern states, Gulf states. Watch for extreme weather event there. And then multiple lows here develop in the long range. And both, co both coasts being inundated by strong low pressure systems. Long range forecast, big Alberta clipper coming across the Canadian prairies. And then overlooking the North Atlantic, multiple low pressure systems affecting Europe this week. High pressure ridges moving away, allowing all these systems to come in. And then in the long range, watch as multiple low pressure systems develop and very strong at that in the North Atlantic. Overlooking the rest of the world, Looking at a pretty strong low affecting eastern Australia, especially southeastern parts, and that will continue for days. And then another low pressure system moves in for the 3rd and 4th of December. Also got a pretty big low pressure system affecting eastern parts of India. Long range forecast shows it dissipating, heading towards Myanmar. Going to leave you here overlooking it. The Pacific Ocean and of course all of the activity heading into the west coast as we've got multiple low pressure systems developing in the long range here it's going to be nasty so heads up stay safe out there stay aware prepared and much love thank you all for the amazing support love and comments on the channel stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do see you next video If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.